Okay, let's get personal. Let's get real. All right, you guys, my name is Amanda, and this is my channel, Amanda Random. If you are new randoms or old randoms, you probably know that I am a type 1 diabetic. I unfortunately also suffer from a disease called dystonia. Those are all different things that if you'd like to know more about me, I have playlists on my channel that you could probably go and check some of those things out. Um, the dystonia is a newer diagnosis and it is, it's not an easy one, let me tell you that. But anyways, I don't want to waste time with the backstory and everything else. If you want to learn more about me, there's all kinds of videos on my channel with my amazing family that you guys can go and check out anytime that you want. But this video right here, I feel like if I don't just jump into it right now, I'm never going to do it. Are you guys the kind of people that constantly make excuses for yourself as to why you didn't do something that you promised yourself that you would and you come up with these extravagant excuse excuses and you're like, yeah, well that's me. That's me especially when it comes to weight loss. Especially when it comes to weight loss. I have thought of a million different reasons as to why I could not make this video. One of them being that I could not get this area set up how I wanted it set up. Um, I wanted our fish tank in the background and I just, you know, I'm working with old cameras, old equipment, and I'm like, you know what, I can't do the video because I can't get the background right. Excuse. Then I decided I can't make this video because I don't want to be on weight uh, on on YouTube weighing in or measuring myself or putting that info out there. And then I thought, but that's just another excuse. And then I said, well, I can't do these workouts because I don't want people seeing me. I'm someone that absolutely never wears tank tops. I don't like my arms. I really, really, really am a self-conscious person, but on a level of I care what I think, more so than I care about necessarily what anyone else thinks. My journey right now into weight loss, I think has only worked the amount that it has is because this time it is about me, right here, this girl. And if you guys want to to find the stepping stones to make any of your weight loss journeys actually work and stick, that needs to be the number one thing that you come to terms with. You're not doing this so that all of the other people that look at you think you look amazing. You're not doing this because you just need to focus on the fact that you're doing this because of you, not because your grandma says that you're too tubby not because your mommy, you know, or your daddy gives you that side look because they saw your arm flab flapping in the wind. No, you're doing this because you want to better and you want to empower, I should say, and better you. You. Y O U. You. So, a while ago I did weigh um I'd say a year and a half ago I did weigh over 300 pounds. Right now I am down um, into the 200s, very low 200s, um, so I will pat myself on the back for that one because it was not an easy job. If you guys want to know more about that weight loss and what I did to, to achieve that, I can make a separate video, but this one right here, I feel like I've already like yacked way too much here. Um, this one right here is more so about Chloe Ting's workout, you guys. I know you've heard about it. I've heard about it. I've seen how many of my YouTuber friends doing it. One of the YouTubers that I watch is Samantha Jo Shriver. I will either put her YouTube up here or I will put it in the description box below this video because that's really the person that kind of motiv me, motivated me to be like, get up and do this. And actually, I'm going to be completely honest here and transparent with you guys. I didn't even know who Chloe Ting was before seeing Samantha's video. So, shout out to Samantha and a shout out to Chloe Ting because, girl, you crazy. So, getting back to Samantha Joe on her channel, um, she is a plus-size beauty. 
and I watch her because I get so much inspiration from her, you guys, and I want her attitude. I want it. I want to know how she does it, and I just, I can't say enough good things about her. So, if you are bored, go check her out. She is younger, quite younger than me, but I just, I have this, like, emotional connection to this girl and her channel, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Alright, so once I discovered what she was doing, it was the Chloe Ting two-week ab workout videos and challenge, and I checked out the, the videos over on Chloe's channel, and I was like, O-M-G. Seriously, you guys. <sighs> I don't know if I can do this, but I am down to try. So, first off, I want to say this does not matter, people, if you are a twig. Shout out to my Twiggy girls. I love you guys too. This video ain't about hate. It's not about this is better than that. It's just about being you and being happy and achieving goals that you want to achieve and a weight that you want to maintain or get your hands on. So, basically I'm going to be following along with the Chloe Tang challenge and I freaked out because another excuse was, like I said, we're not weighing these flabby arms or, or measuring or this big old waist of mine. Let me tell you, this waist though, you guys, she she shrunk. Oh, 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 she shrunk. Um, compared to what I used to be before, I am proud of where I am now. But I have so many flaw areas that I just can't seem to get my mind off of those areas. I'm not thinking about all the good things I've accomplished for the most part. I just keep slamming myself with those areas that I just still hate. And I want to do something about it. So with quarantine going on and being in the good old state of Wisconsin with nothing better to do, this is what I have decided to sign up for. I'm signing up for the, the two weeks. The two weeks, I'm going to follow the videos. You can follow along with me. I have seen some amazing result videos. I don't know if those are going to be the same for everyone. We're all different. But I will tell you this. The part that I'm dreading, I'm going to go get my measuring tape. We're going to check out what this girl's waist really is right now. I just, yeah. Disclaimer. If you don't like stretch marks or... The fact that I've lost a bunch of weight already and you don't want to see icky loose skin and flub, then I guess this video ain't for you. Stop and go elsewhere. But right now, I'm making myself face my demons and put this out there in hopes that it helps somebody else. So quit making excuses and rambling and go get the tape measure. Disclaimer. Disclaimer, you guys, this girl also currently has her period. She's surfing the crimson wave. Probably bloated. And this might not be a great time to start this video, but again, if I use the fact that I have my period this week as another excuse, I'm going to end up kicking my own AWS. So, no excuses. I'm bloated. I am who I am. Judge me if you will. Just don't leave me mean comments because I might cry. All right, you guys. So I looked up how exactly you're supposed to be measuring yourself. And I honestly want to get a waist measurement. So I don't know how well you guys can see me or not. But like I said, fair warning. I am also a type 1 diabetic. This right here. You, this, she attached to my pump that's in my bra. So, just keeping it real. All right, you guys. So, I am going to measure the flub. I can't believe I'm doing this. And it said to go from above your hip bone to above, right above your belly button. And to not suck in, but to just let it. Let it all hang out. Okay, so at that, can I do it? I am exactly at a 42. Hello. Hello. My cat thinks I'm crazy. Okay, well, I am. So, all right. 
my waist right above my belly button and above where my hips sit right here around is a 42. So we'll remember that. I'm going to get some pictures that I don't want to get. <laughs> Bless your poor hearts for having to see this. I'm going to get some pictures or some video so that I have some befores and then we're going to jump into the actual working out part. I'm not going to check in every single day, obviously. That'd be a little excessive for me. But I am going to, after the first week, I will have some footage of the workout. And I will come back and I will show you guys and give you an update as to how it's going, how I feel, have I died. Maybe beforehand I'll check in. I'm not making any promises. But we're going to do this. I'm going to do this. I hope some of you guys do this because being able to look in the mirror and say that you can stomach the person staring back at you is one thing, but I want everyone to look in the mirror and say that person staring back at me, she's beautiful. She's strong. She got it. She got it going on. I can't do that. And I know there are a lot of you guys that cannot do that either and I'm I'm trying really hard to learn to love me again and I know body image and size should not interfere with your self-love and that we need to love ourselves regardless of our weight or our height or our thin hair or our you know chubby double chins and whatever it may be flabby arms but it's hard and I know you guys that are watching this, I know there's a lot of you women that can agree. So at the end of this, let's just make it even a tiny little bit easier to look in the mirror and love ourselves because we deserve it, all of us. Doesn't matter what we did to get here or if we've achieved anything up to this point, all that matters is that we're okay with who we are and we don't need to fit anybody's mold but our own, but if you're doing this to feel better about yourself, to bring up your health, to make you feel a little more positive, then just keep watching and let's do this together because we can. I just tried to prance around in front of the camera to kind of give you some body shot ideas of what your girl working with um, and I can already tell you it was cringy AF so so hopefully I will be able to pull some of that footage out and give you guys some body shots which huh, you guys have no idea how hard this is for me to do and I, at this point of the video, haven't decided if I am okay yet with giving out my highest weight and my lowest weight, or if I'm just going to weigh myself starting today, and then we are going to see at the end of the two weeks what that weight is. Just a disclaimer, so all of you guys know and don't think I'm hiding anything. Um, it's literally going to come down to how I feel at that moment, and if I feel like I can put that out there or not. I also have someone I want to introduce you guys to if you don't know her already. This is Jasmine Jane, my daughter, and she is going to be in a bunch of the workout videos with me because she's going to follow along. 
and do some Chloe Tang workouts with her mama because why not, right? Yeah. We don't got nothing better to do. We are all about fitness. She's plugging, um, she plugged in and is charging her Fitbit right now. Mine is charging. I don't have it on. So we're going to get those on. And if you have a friend that you feel comfortable enough doing this workout with, if you want to do it on your own time by yourself, if you have a cute little daughter like mine and you want to hang out and do it with her, then even better. All I can say is we have to do it, you guys. We have to do it. And I think I'm pretty sure we can do it. We can do this, right? We're going to do this. So with that being said, we're going to get our little fit bits on and we're going to... <laughs> there's hers we're going to start um with day one so we will catch up with you guys we'll probably let you see a little bit of the workout depending upon which living room or area we decide to do it in and then we will catch up with you guys again soon thank you guys so much for the support of randoms that i know i already have and i'm hoping that this video just reaches out and brings how many more to our wonderful random family. So let's get into the workout. I don't want to waste time or remember tonight I found something here with you. Running by the roadside, wait up for me, I'd go anywhere that you do. Put it all out in the open No, we don't have to control it Put it all out in the open If it's only for a moment It's a lifetime of emotion Put it all out in the open sure we got an abs video to go but we're not stopping we're not quitters I am. no you're not we got this and so can you I am so tired I have absolutely no body upper body strength I have none Chloe Tang made that absolutely apparent to me and this video is already super long and I sound like a dying injured cow but you know what it's okay because at least I did it. And did I take breaks? Yes. Did I spill my water bottle all over? Yes. <laughs> did we get through it though? Yes. So now we're going to go on to the second video of the first day. That is where we're going to end this one. Give us a thumbs up if you guys want to continue to see these. Or if you think we did a good job. And we will catch up with you guys next time. Stay positive and stay random. Bye. Sweating. Those aren't tears. That's sweat, baby. Whew. Didn't think I was going to get through this one, but I did. Okay. We did.
did it. I'm dying. I'm sweaty. Jazz just turned the fan on me. But you guys, we did it. We did it. And so can you.